Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca Verney. If you're new here, I make motherhood and lifestyle content and we just have a lot of fun here on this channel. I actually got a chance to color my hair last night. I also blow dried and straightened it and actually I curled it last night, but you can't even tell because, because I slept on it. So all the curls are gone. But I'm so excited you guys because tonight we have a concert. My sister gifted my husband and I with a couple of concert tickets to the band SYML and we're going to be going, um, I guess, I don't know how you say it, like Simmel or something, but we're going to be going there tonight and it's in Salt Lake so we're going to be taking Payson over to his parents house to drop him off at like 5.45 and then we're going to head straight over to Salt Lake area for like dinner um, and it's basically just like our date night. We're going to have a really great date night. We have not had a date night in so long, so this is gonna be such a treat to be able to like just go on a date and like spend time together. And then also going to see like one of my favorite bands. So it's really funny because the concert starts at 9 p.m. and it's kind of late. So we told Eli's mom that we're gonna be getting back pretty late, but we're very excited and I'm definitely gonna bring you guys along tonight just for a little bit so you guys can kind of see like what we're doing and stuff. So yeah, this morning we're gonna just, I am gonna make breakfast right now. Um, we're probably gonna do like banana pancakes uh, with almond flour instead of like, you know, regular flour. And then I might take you guys along with us today. We're just gonna be chilling until the concert. Uh, I gotta get ready, like when my husband gets home, he's going out to lunch with a friend. He's gonna come home and I'm gonna be able to curl my hair. Like I like my hair straight, but I like it like with that cool like little wave too. So I don't know, we'll see. I'll show you what Payson's up to. Say hi to the friends. Hi friends. <laughs> what are you up to? You're so cute and adorable. I love you. You're so cute. <laughs> did you sleep good last night? Yeah, you did. <laughs> ah! Oh, don't bite. <laughs> he's starting to bite because he's teething. He bit me so hard yesterday and it hurts. Ah! It hurts so bad. Hey, why aren't you in focus? Hi. <laughs> he loves looking out the window and seeing all the cars go by, huh, buddy? Do you like to see the cars go by? It's so fun, huh? He also loves to be on this couch where it's like scary for me because he could fall. <laughs> but I, I am like, super fast with my refluxes, so I try to make sure that I'm on the ball there. I changed my mind about making breakfast. There's this place that I wanna try, it's a cafe. So Payson and I are headed there right now, and I'm excited because I wanna try their food. I've been wanting to try it for a while and it's always busy. Today's Friday morning, so I'm just really hoping that they're not super busy, but yeah, we're gonna go give it a shot and see what the food's like. It is so pretty this morning because we had a really gnarly rain yesterday and the last three days actually has been rainy and like cloudy. So it's really been helpful to clear out all that smoke that was just like chilling here from all the fires recently, but it is so nice right now, so pretty. So a quick comment about the breakfast place we just had. I had never been there before and I I always see it. There's just so many people there, especially especially on the weekends when it's like Saturday and stuff and all that because they're closed on Sunday. It's like 
everywhere's closed on Sunday here, but I was actually really impressed by their prices and their um, their food. Like I got the French toast, you guys saw, we got eggs and sausage. He, of course, only ate the French toast. Like he ate a couple bites of the eggs, but luckily there is egg and French toast. So I feel like he got a little bit of protein, but yeah, I'm just like so in love with that place. Like, and, and I'm so in love with the prices. Like if I only got the French toast, it would have been $9. That's pretty good. Look where it ended up. <laughs> Yeah, we ended up at Target. <laughs> but here's why. I rang the Gap store and I just asked them straight out, yo, do you guys have what I need in this size? Because I'm not about to drive all that way and waste gas for something that's not there. And I am so glad that I called because they basically said that they didn't have any shoe that was like smaller than six, size six. And I'm trying to get him like a size four. <laughs> so they didn't have it. Uh, so now I am at a very small target because sometimes I feel like people flock to the bigger targets because they're gonna think, oh, they have everything. So sometimes when you go to the smaller targets, there's not a lot of people that go there just because they don't think that there's stuff there to get. Like there's not very many options and stuff like that. So that may just all be in my head and I have no idea, but I'm gonna try this place out. Of course, he is sleeping. Every time I get in the car, he is going to sleep and that's totally fine. Um, I'd rather him take his naps than not take them. So we are gonna go in here once he wakes up and then probably just head back home because we'll have to like, you know, make lunch and all that for him eventually. I mean, we just got done with breakfast, so we're probably both not hungry at all. So anyway. Okay guys, we're back home. No luck at Target, of course. They didn't even have any shoes at all. <laughs> so my theory was totally wrong, um, at least for that store. So I'm just gonna be looking online and seeing if I can get anything shipped to my parents' house within the next few days. <sighs> it is such a struggle looking for toddler shoes. I don't know if you guys, like especially between the like the zero, not so much like the newborn shoes, like I feel like there's always newborn shoes, but like between like three and fives, or even two and two and four, I feel like it's such a struggle to find um, shoes that size. But anyways, we're just chilling at home, probably until my husband picks me up to go to the concert. Um, so I am gonna show you guys what I'm giving him for lunch and just like day, day life stuff. Uh, but right now he's just watching his little show and I'm gonna be continuing to pack because I'm still in the process of packing I have to pack my fitness stuff still I got to figure out my toiletry stuff So that's all happening and trying to get it all done before we leave on Sunday Because <laughs> our flight is pretty early. It's like at 8 a.m. So we have to be there at like 6 Guys, this is our fancy lunch today <laughs> Woohoo! Living the dream baby. This is a gourmet Quesadilla. <laughs> so I just uh, put some mixed veggies on his plate and if you guys didn't know basically when I put these veggies in the microwave they just explode like literally they start to light on fire so I don't know what the heck's going on with that but um, I just figured I'd give him like the veggies cold and then this is just a little quesadilla. I really try to give this child like healthy foods but he only likes carbs. Like he doesn't like <laughs> like veggies and s he does like sweet potato. That's one thing he does like, but like he just loves like really bad foods for him. <laughs> um, so I'm really trying to like find ways to like incorporate veggies and stuff like that with his food. Um, just because I feel like I'm just, I feel like I'm just giving him like carbs and just bread, you know what I mean? And I can't do that. Like that's, that's horrible. So anyways, yeah, it's, it's frustrating for me that he only wants to eat bad. <laughs> Cause I am like, I'm a pretty healthy eater and I just, I want him to like get all the nutrients and vitamins, but yeah. Oh, so I was going to tell you guys if for whatever reason he doesn't want his vegetables or whatever, I usually will just give him like one of these cause he eats them every single time. And these have like blueberries, pears, and spinach. And then I also have immunity blend. Like I, I get a couple of them from Costco. But I wanna give him something of nutrients. Like that's why I give him those because otherwise I wouldn't. And I don't always think to like, oh, I gotta warm up vegetables right now. And sometimes it just takes too long. So I just, 
that's for like an emergency sitch if if I'm like needing that right away. All right, so we're officially on our way to the concert in Salt Lake, but first we're gonna drop off the little rascal. He's back there. <laughs> and we're gonna pick up some healthy food from Chick-fil-A for him. <laughs> so that way he at least has some dinner because yeah, we just, we didn't have time to feed him and we have like a couple of those like baby food packs, but um, that's just for like later in case he gets like extra hungry or whatever. So yeah, but we're headed out there right now and we're gonna pretty much just get some dinner before we go to the concert and yeah, we're gonna have a good time. it is the next morning I didn't I did not wash my face last night but we had such a good time we went to the Italian restaurant and it was so good we got the lasagna and I was like oh do you want to like share a lasagna and he's like no I'm hungry <laughs> I'm like okay we'll just both get lasagna so it was super delicious we shared a salad and they bring you out bread and it was just so good. So, but overall the concert was really fun. We had a great time. Uh, Simmel is the name of the band and it means simple in Welsh, I guess, but it's a solo guy, but he does like keyboard stuff and he's just really great. So if you guys haven't heard of that band or if you haven't checked him out, you should definitely check him out. He's awesome. Like, especially live, like, wow. So anyway, I just wanted to end this video, but if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.